glass I've gotten. <sighs> that close to my mouth, so. I have been asked to play Overwatch 2. So, I think I'm just going to play a comp match. Well, I give my thoughts about the game. Currently, to be honest, it's kind of ass. Um, let's see, getting started with the complaints here. One, Doomfist fucking sucks. This, he shouldn't be a tank, and they just need to buff the shit out of him. He is so incredibly ass. Um, I feel the same way with Hammond. Doesn't do a roll as a tank. Orisa is an ass. She's just kind of lackluster. So, do with that what you will. Uh, let's see. Torbjorn and Bastion were disabled first two fucking weeks of the game, which is just ridiculous. I'm sure Blizzard could have caught the bug somehow during beta tests and pre testing. Hydrate. Just took a sip of water. What else is there? Um, healer. I mean, this problem was also in Overwatch One, but healers do too much damage, and people don't heal; they just damage. Like Zen doesn't have the greatest heals ever, but still, in almost every game, you see a Zen because he just He's got good DPS. Um, Moira, I fucking hate. Moira might be my least favorite character ever, to be honest. Uh, let me just check to make sure I don't go into uh, chat here. Okay. Moira is literally only used by fucking shitters. Hold down the fucking left click button the whole time for damage and have never once attempted to heal in their goddamn lives. Another complaint that was also in Overwatch 1, first healing like Baptiste Baptiste, Lucio, Moira Ana with her piano mind bullshit attacks go with the cards it's just so fucking hard to kill anything in this game. Let's see what else we got here. Um, in terms of DPS, I think my biggest complaint is that they buffed the shit out of Junkrat at close range. He fucking kills everything. Which, I mean, it's not the worst thing that's ever happened. Makes him very unfun to play against. Die to fucking bullshit. He has drop off damage now, despite the fact it's a literal fucking grenade. Where it explodes is the explosion, not the fucking heat transfer it fucking it gives off in the goddamn air. That makes more sense to me. Um. Would complain about Echo, but to be honest, fuck Echo. Shit. Zarya is pretty fucking crazy now. Holy shit, man. I think it was gonna be a five minute queue, or else I would have fucking started recording when the game started. But the bubbles are just. Wicked. Especially in Total Mayhem. That's an arcade game mode, but she just always bobble herself. Um I feel like Winston is a lot worse now. PS just deals shit ton of damage. And he can't can't really focus on anything. All he can do is dive, but now that there's only one tank, if he dives, then either the whole team dies because they don't have a tank. Or he dies because by himself without his whole team. Can't really like dive on anything. Um, let's see. 
I think Junker Queen's super fun to play. I'm not gonna bag on her. Oh. It's what it is. I don't really care too much. Battle pass. Battle pass is stupid. This was just fucking crap. Same thing with the skins. Like this EVs are legacy credit. No. Legacy credits are the worst. See, I don't think you Oh, there we go, finally. I don't believe you can buy legacy credits. It's their legacy. Alright, I'm not yeah. That's fine. But yeah, legacy credits you can't get anymore. No. Now every skin has to be bought with fucking Overwatch coin. I swear to fucking god, man. Oh, if that cancels the match, I'm going to be a very happy customer. God. Motherfucker. Please, priority reQ. Please work. I swear, if it takes me another five fucking minutes, I'm gonna be so goddamn mad. Um, I'd love to talk about the state of, like, the actual games, but we're just not getting it. Um, let's see, I guess... Reaper... Feels different. I don't know if he's actually buffed or nerfed, but yeah, he definitely feels like he heals a lot more. It feels like it's way too difficult to heal. All right. Hey, what do you know? I had a good map, and now I have a fucking terrible map. Great. And a Bastion. You know, what can you expect? This is fucking bottom, bottom barrel. Because I don't play competitive in this game. All my friends play on console. This game fucking sucks. I mean, even with friends, every time I've played with them, just a bunch of haters, I tell ya. Not that I wouldn't be a hater, because, like, <laughs> I, I get it. Playing in PC probably sucks with console. This game is just so incredibly sick. Like, not even the people in it, just the game itself at this point. It's, like, bad. Like, matchmaking is so incredibly one-sided. That it just, like, you either win or lose the game, and it doesn't feel rewarding. Okay. Ah, I guess I'm just worse. <laughs> At okay. Um, I hope we, uh, nope, we lost. I hope we win this fight. Nope, and I missed. <sighs> I probably should have got a warm up before this, but it's what it is. Anyways, uh, back to getting on topic. I also, like, if you not playing this game in a group and not using your microphone is just a disadvantage. Not fucking. Not dead. Oh, what do you know? You already got healed back to full. Well, would you look at that? Alright. 
What do you know? One alt and we win the point. I try and play it in the corner. Yep. All right, Bastion dead, and I can't fucking aim for shit. And would you believe it? Okay, <laughs> they're just gonna spam. They're just gonna get so killy carried. <laughs> um. One of the things I wanted to focus on this game was like individual play, which I find to be ridiculously stupid because it's just gonna fucking encourage smurfing. And I mean, you have to play 50 games in order to smurf. Okay, why are you here? What are you doing? Yeah, please win off of this? No. No, she's low. He just can't hit the shots. <sighs> yeah. Oh. Oh, what do you know? <laughs> they are just better than us. But, yep. Yeah. I... Have maybe had five close games in like the 30, 40 hours I maybe, uh, in the 20 hours I probably have in this game. And like, the few matches that I've played, there are other DPS. Damn, I can't remember. I'll, I'll try and pick it up on Zoom. But almost every game is just a complete steamroll, one way or the other. And the problem is that the winning team gets their ults first. And whoever uses the first ult kind of just fucking carries the momentum. Because if you have an ult, you're up here. Like, <laughs> yeah. See, and then, that's another thing. You just get mad when you die. Like, I get I'm not good at this game, and I don't try to say that I am. But, until you start playing in high enough ranks to the point where everybody is just clumped in a fucking bundle, like, the individual play is not fun, because you either lose or you fucking win. The odds that you, like, win against enough individuals to make a difference isn't fucking great enough to outweigh the impact of fucking like a bundle of people or in other words like even if you are doing a shit to oh that guy's gonna get a 5k i can't aim yep in what can you do? What can you do? At least this game ended fast, so I don't have to talk. Co complain about how much I hate this shit. Honestly, one of my least favorite fucking games. And I get the focus of this game was supposed to be PvE, but they just fucking rushed it for a money grab. Yeah. I mean, that guy. I feel like should not be here. Yeah, and then, I mean, our healers, one of them is just worse. Well, both of them are just worse. Again, I mean, it's just a damage Moira. peek him. Oh, he lost the game. Well, that is what it is. Thank fuck I can be done. Holy shit, I hate this. Yep.
So, like I said, um, I should be able to check, I think. Which, I mean, this is with, uh... Let's... Okay. Doesn't even show team stats either. That's very lame. But... I mean, it it won't show the rest of them, but this is also with console players as well. So when you have console on your team versus PC, you kind of just lose. Anyways, as, as I was trying to say, it's just always a steamroll. Maybe I should have practiced to you know give my team better odds, but against that Genji, there was nothing I could have done. And honestly, he is probably just a higher rank. So I'm not going to be too mad about it. Like The rank reset just made it so... Uh, basically, everyone who didn't play recently in Overwatch 1 bronze. So if you fucking played the season before the last season Overwatch 1, I believe you still came out as bronze 5. Because... Blizzard are known for their fucking great ways of balancing. Anyways, I just uh I just wanted to spit that out there. This is probably gonna be the end of the video. So you know See y'all later. Remember to stay hydrated, have a good day, and